five more or less um so you're also able to like co-cast because the stream will have a huge delay you can't watch the stream so so you see anything so to see anything you will have to um yeah be in discord together and on largest end it doesn't seem to work he said uh that means that i would be the one that would have to stream it on discord and i want to test that first and we're gonna do that today if i remember correctly also check that in the discord now real quick nah you just uh cancelled it uh, we'll see we'll see how that ga uh, game goes moting stream oh yeah see ya Iggy. good luck good luck And we're actually going to try to play clean Kraken today. <laughs> Not clean, but at least cleaner than we used to. We need to uh, clear ourselves, so we're instantly going to go for the Urger. I don't know where I'm going to get the gold for the Valkyrie. I know where we're going to get the gold for the Valkyrie. <laughs> actually, a pretty good spawn here. I don't know. I think we can make this work. But yeah, if, if everything works out, I will be uh, Sunday evening on Larsa's stream and uh, cast the Grand Finals with him. Very nice from him to let me go cast there. Oh. Guilty Herger so I can get housed. That's nice. Okay, okay. I would be down. I would be down. Um, yeah, always open to that. <laughs> it's also when I play like multiplayer games or something, I always down to have like some people uh, jumping in with me. Also, my same thought with like the finals because I think the game generally is quite fun. Just playing the game with randoms is really not that fun. I think that's a game that you really got to play with people that at least like somewhat play together as a team. Mm. Just build it there. I think it's a four tile. No, nope, it isn't. And yeah, it would definitely be down. I need more people in the Herger though if I do it like that. Yeah, we got to set the straw poll up after the stream. I'm also still got to eat, shower and everything, right? I was still... I again jumped right from the work on the computer today. Just that... Uh, we got a little bit unlucky on top of that. It's like not finding a lobby for that long. We're a little bit weirdish. And that's how it goes. I don't know if people were actually bugging out or just didn't feel like it. We're just gonna get her. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. It's also that in the game I think you have like like in Team Fortress 2, like a heal gun, you know? And it sometimes really makes sense to just sit behind your teammate, have the heal gun out, let him charge in and uh, heal him throughout them. And that never happens with randoms, of course, right? Everybody wants to be the hero and never will ever anybody like pull out the heal gun and like do something that doesn't really help them. Uh, which can be a problem. I can tell you that much. I'm definitely not the one who thinks like I... I always need it. I'm, I'm fine without my heal gun. Uh, without like being the absolute killer of the team. <laughs> At least when we're having fun. It is what it is indeed.
I'm gonna slow down here. To take the next tile. So I can start with stone, I think. But we also need that. Oh my god, we need so many tiles. How do you do that? How do you do that? Like, my plan now is to get stone. You get the town hall upgrade. Um... As soon as possible, of course. And we should kind of also need mining efficiency, huh? Make it quicker. Like maybe the lore, like if I go for the lore or anything else, it doesn't really make too much of a difference here. Okay. I will aggro scouting. Okay. <laughs> the playing uh, online games for quite a bit became numb to losing streaks yeah more or less more or less definitely don't worry about them all too much it's like the game itself isn't really that interesting if everybody just does their own thing right imagine like overwatch and everybody just goes i don't know what, how they call it again like widow maker uh what's the ninja genji 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 ganji i don't know the hanzo Hanzo! <laughs> uh, just going for... Uh, super egoistic plays, more or less. He's like, okay, like everybody is playing their own game. We're not really doing any team stuff here. Uh, that is uh, kind of boring. The deep scouting is sus indeed. I think the Valkyrie early is definitely a downside. I feel like this is definitely uh, making me slower here. It's also helping. Like, I don't want to say that. <laughs> it means I can get rid of this wolf here. Of her, I'm unhappy, right? No. Almost at least. Can't really slow down anywhere, but I really want to have the second fisherman set up before the winter starts. Can I be fine with one woodcutter's lodge throughout the winter? Probably not. I'm gonna slow down on stone here. Oh, this is pork! This is absolutely pork! Dish out the heart. That is really helpful. That's what I need. Like, I'm not even on lore yet. Go. Let's go. So I can upgrade this soonish. This is usually how I've seen the Kraken be played. Like you were getting 13 villagers, and at 13 villagers, you're switching around to uh, ghost production basically. Then you high tide all the tiles around you and uh, start having a good time. I like think the first time I can really get it on the board, how I think it's supposed to be done. So I need another vill there. How? You gotta take one of the fishers. What's up, Redbird? Oh, you all have the... Wait a second, I'm just gonna finish the prediction here. Well... The owl were negative food, so it were yes, even though that Igiwaru was still like right, because uh, I couldn't have um, like just waited it out, you know. I 
I definitely needed to fight there. I couldn't like just let him take tiles and they uh, then let him start starving. He would have sustained for a long while, but he wouldn't have sustained forever. So theoretically, uh, him being negative food were correct. No, I think it were like the exact uh, how the uh, question were formulated, right? The question would have formulated different, then it would have been different. 320 crowns, there you go. Is it 20 actually? I think Iggy just put 20 in completely. <laughs> How much coins did you bet? Let me tell you that every game I watched of Team MM on last stream, I went all in on them. Let's go sharp access, why not? And uh, I've made so much channel points on his channel through that. It's nutty. We're rich! Yeah. <laughs> I basically always went like 25k in, 25k in. <laughs> now I'm VIP on this channel and I can, I still have enough to give out another VIP. So if somebody are, is interested in a VIP on Loss's channel, I can still give one out. I don't know if I'm allowed to, just like call, make him VIP. <laughs> can I do that? I don't know. Can we just stay above the lore? Also possible. I'm gonna get the second Hurger now, not really to use it, but to, uh, as soon as my first Spectral spawned, uh, that I have a little bit of time to actually send it to the tile where it needs to go. We're gonna do that right as the next villager spawns and we get house cap, uh, pop cap. I'm gonna pull them out, go into negative word. That's also why we couldn't pick near the sea, near the sea spirit now. Gotta put the lore again. <laughs> yeah, look at me, man. Spending the large points. Yes, yes, yes. We're balling out here. So after I get 200, my spectrals will also increase the zone production by 15%. So I want to get two ghosts after I'm done with uh, upgrading all my tiles too. You know, sent them anywhere. And this tile is high tide. I think later on, like with near the sea spirit, I also get a building slot on every tile. And it's actually pretty, pretty good. So you want to have as many tiles affected with it as possible. Also, I'll just go hard on wood right now. We can already build the next house. Hmm. Yeah, let's build the next house. So after we're done with the ghosts, we obviously would like to have villages again. That has a minute. Here we go. Attacked by a wolf again. It doesn't really doesn't care about my Valkyrie in the slightest. You can also start like clearing it out a little. Not. Oh. It's the last ghost we need to sack. The next two ghosts go. Like will stay into my in my territory to help me out. Would be real nice if she could kill like the second wolf at least. Nice. Okay. 
go get this. I'll actually gotta go with knowledge from beyond, I think. Just so my lore production goes up a little. Yeah. Let's do it. We also have a second stone. So I, we're a little bit careless on my lore for a while. I'm gonna keep being it. And you go there. Um. One. It really, really stops me out right now. Can I get a feast somehow? Do this. I don't even have enough gold. Now it's stopping me too much. I can do it soon ish, but I can't do it now. It's just too much. That. I'm rolling. So I can upgrade my fishers. It should make it a little bit easier to get a feast. Maybe. And also towards 200. Now I could think about blowing down, getting a feast ready somehow. Uh, 120 plus 13. Oh, son. Son. Then I also got the feasts. I gotta get the feast rolling again. Add uh, the markets. Anything else, basically. Bang. Go, I think we're gonna upgrade this. There's the miner, there we go. You can get rid of this wolf. What would production going? Do we even need to upgrade them? Also go with non-upgraded ones. Because I'm gonna spam them later on anyway, right? And just go for more fish. Will mean more trade. And also make it easier to basically get feasts out everything, right? Just having more resources. Uh, near the sea spirit time. That really helps. <clears throat> oh, we got a ratatouille. Nice. Not a big one, but it's, it's alright. I'll take it. Also going on for two months. Yep. So we got the... Uh, longer durability already. My ghosts are actually doing work now with the 50% bonus, right? 15? 15% bonus. Yikes, I forgot to call. <clears throat> Don't hate me, please. Come on. We have a relic. <laughs> we will scout? Probably. Probably. I don't think anybody else will scout. I'll hand it to you.
We're just gonna get our lore production up here because we should be at the bottom, but we will work our way to the top now. We got plus 14. It's not that easy to reach on non Kraken. Two more wolves. Be able to clear these out. I don't really want to pull my ghost out there. But, well, come on, just for a second. You can also see how effective it actually is. Plus six. Okay, that's actually quite a bit. That's a teeny tiny bit extra damage. And since the Valkyrie is only teeny tiny damage, uh, it is basically double damage. <laughs> is it? We have 10 minus 3. And we have 5 minus 1.5. Yeah, it's uh, it's almost nothing. <laughs> it's, it's not double. It's, it's, it's nothing. It is damn nothing. Can go in there. I think the rest of my wood production is fine. I'm Gucci. Nope. It's real bad. Shouldn't get housed here. Mm, let me go mid three now. Hey, another meal. Another meal. So we go for the stone in here. Get the scout cam. Any hmm. Okay, still got a scout. Not gonna be as strong since I'm gonna be the one scouting, of course. It's uh, a little hurtful. Always takes a little away a little bit of the oomph of your. Oosh. I still gotta get my upgrades here. I guess we're just gonna get a little bit more wood. We had so much before the big earthquake took away everything from us. We still also need so much. Like camps. Stuff like that. But usually I would take Ran's blessing here. For more ghosts. Also like spam herbers everywhere to get more ghosts. So this is gonna be one of the annoying blessings that is just gonna not be taken and uh, do its thing all the time. Go. I'm just gonna stop it here. Just to be real efficient. We got two scouts out. See, should I still upgrade fissures? Good so. I think I should, yeah. I think I should. We take one of them to over here. Build the camp. Start with fissures now. Build the camp and afterwards hopefully go for the warriors. Would be neat. 
That would be Rand's blessing, but we're not gonna go for it now. Just wait until I have enough ghosts. We're gonna focus on that a bit more. We already like start threading them around here. I can still get my uh, war camps when I'm already generating ghosts. Will that work out from the timing? Not quite. That's not that far off. I think it's actually pretty good if I send this villager over there now and then wait for the last stone, uh, for the last iron to come in. Literally just one. We have 50% of the upgrade to go. I think the timing is not that bad. Hmm? Yeah, and I can now queue up the warrior upgrade. We are on our way. I actually got to pull off the lore master. Seems weirdish, but I'm gonna get my herbers up now. We can build two more. It's gonna be a lot of taxes, but it's also free army. Mine is ready already. Scroll will never be that ready, I think. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Like he's boosting us with meals all the time. I don't know how strong he's able to get himself while doing that. It'd be too easy. Already generating ghosts? No. Could start though. I could start. What is that? Oh, okay. So he chooses the lore win. I'm just gonna scout and vibe, I guess. Wouldn't be too bad. Still gonna get all the ghosts I can get. In worst case, I'll just spread them around my territory and let them boost everything. I can feast. Big time. Mm. Just trying to pick the man for all the jobs that aren't uh, in a herger. He goes to I have three out of six. I have six territories. I think that's run away. Need another ghost now. Okay, let's just scout all around. Was it looking for the still getting built? Take the six lore. I mean, take the six lore. What do you mean? <laughs> you want me to take the blessing? I do not take the blessing before I have uh, full. Like, if I pick the ghosts now, I'm seven out of six, you know? If I wait until I have six, I will have nine. That's why you wait. Hmm reasoning behind it I 
you just want to get as many goes as possible. Usually you go with the 8 or 2 push, push on Kraken, like uh, you don't vibe. But I'm just gonna get the ghosts now so I can focus on other stuff. It's also triggering me if it, if that's what you're asking for. It's definitely also triggering me. Sorry, we're capping. That's why I didn't ask. We can also spam camps. No problem, no problem. I know where you're coming from. Like I said, like it's also triggering me. I would also love to have it not there. <laughs> we can get our chief out. Take this down. We need more camps. We have 12 afterwards. I could also go for another trading post to just get more gold. I think we're gonna do that. And after I have my six goes, I'm just gonna break down a herger. Know what I mean? It's gonna push. Not really. I think it's only um, improving the gold the merchants produce by themselves and not the gold that I get through trading. Now I can. Let's get a second Valkyrie. Oh, guys. Guys. We're gonna have a sick army here. Don't have enough. You don't really get the word cost that much because you can just instantly lose it right after. Oh no, I pressed E. You all stay where you come from. Still waiting for the last ghost. Then afterwards we can go back to normal villager production. Minute, I get attacked by Ford Rocker at this time of the year? Press E again. Break this down. The ghosts all around my territory again. And we are in positive production. I'm so scared to press E now. Just gonna always do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is that is actually super cringe, man. Can't even like without clicking uh, without thinking press E. This is uh so screwed. Get that I get one of these. Oh, rip lol. Well, there, there were a lot of Draugr attacking around this time of the year. I'm gonna say, tell you that. That is more than I expected. <laughs> Yikes. And yeah, that's what you get. What you get for being nice. Hope you learn out of that. <laughs> Never be nice again. Press E and accidentally move all of them. Make a press E again. Ah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Makes sense. That's true. It's true. Uh, which is usually, I think, too late for me. Oh, beer. We're going forward. And argue with that. We'd also go for more stone now. But for now, I'm really expecting them to come towards us since we are far, far progressing into the lower wind. Might actually get a little tough here since we... Man, we have a pretty good army here, right? 
We have a very good army here. Okay, all the markets are running. Okay. <laughs> Actually worked out pretty well. We might like uh, need to sacrifice a ghost or two going forward. Yeah. Uh, the line faith build is obviously also absolutely correct. I still don't know why you would get multiple camps though. It never really seemed to be that great. Hmm. Yep, yep. A lot of money. Let's go. I think we're fine. Is this part of the island even? <laughs> Whole side island right there. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Schooled. No! <laughs> My one weakness. My one weakness. Leave my gods the Lord. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not helping all too much there at the top with like the fantasons. Yikes. Hmm. <laughs> If I only had five more years. <laughs> What's up, Stefan? Yeah, I actually managed to bring Kraken on the map for once. Like, I'm usually struggling with them quite a bit, but this time I just instantly got my Herger, I instantly got my Valkyrie since I had a shipwreck around me, so I could really easily clear myself. I think the Valkyrie made stuff not super easy, let's say. Like, uh, at some points I thought maybe I would prefer not having a Valk right now. I think it's it's the way to go, right? It's just like, you clean yourself easily, you don't ha sacrifice any villagers, you only really sacrifice tempos, right? Like, more or less. Yeah, GG, well played.
You were dead for sure. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. Uh, yeah, my gold weren't really that impressive. Uh, but army-wise, yeah. What I mean. We just have a clan that doesn't really have any max on how many units you can get early just because of faith, because they are faith and gold. I don't know. It seems to be the, the sheer thing right now, right? Having uh, essential resources being replaced by uh lore well, but while faith is actually lore i don't know i think it's always it makes it always tough like with lion you can just push out armies like that because there's no real hard cap on how much faith you can produce so it's just gonna like get a bunch like if we check the faith production here for the lion you will probably see that there is uh, quite a bit going <laughs> at that point <laughs> and with that faith yeah, you can then get a pretty bonkers army, right? But did he went? No, he didn't win any gold. No gold for a line here. Uh, Oskril actually had a lot of gold. Didn't even flinch getting an army. Didn't even flinch. Didn't even think about it. <laughs> That's the war chief, right? Did he lose the war chief? Thanks, man. Um... Like a mosquito when you sleep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, you should watch out with that, right? Krakens will oftentimes forget it because they don't affect you anymore. So, uh, sometimes it just has to happen, right? If the ghost wants to, like, if you want to go with your ghost army in the other side of the map, they sometimes just have to pass your territory. But, uh, yeah, sometimes people might also just forget that uh, the ghost actually causes unhappiness for you. And yeah like pretty pretty insane here we're pretty fun to play the crack to it's not full potential i don't think we are there yet but actually doing what you would usually do on kraken without having too many problems here i think that we're actually nice to see like after the struggle we had last time on kraken with like trying to clear with the ghost in the start of the game i'm just gonna like if there's not one wolf right next to me which i can easily clear then i'm not gonna do that anymore with the ghost warrior it just doesn't work for me um i guess you can but is that really worth it like you clear with the ghost but at the start of the game uh, like if you then sacrifice the ghost then try to get a new one but how do you really get into negative word at that part of the game like you don't need a hogar to be in positive word so you can't really get you into the negative the only way to get you into the negative is getting a valkyrie and if you have a valkyrie you don't need a ghost anymore to clear you early <laughs> like a ah, lot, of, lot of questions still open for me but i'm happy uh to have had uh arguably okay kraken game okay kraken game um a little bit sad that we ended up like being two players that both seem to have a really good game here and uh i guess it would have been better if the line would have been in the other team let's say so we we could clash a little more i don't really think we would have won that fight because against that amount of archers do you really do something there with uh, like i have ghosts right which can really go tanky against these archers but in the end i think the amount is at some point just too high as if you could do anything against that um hard to say i think lion is late game a whole different uh monster than the kraken i feel like with kraken the insane thing is that i can get this army out around here just a few less warriors because you're just not gonna get as many warriors if you do that but uh the ghosts are basically for free more or less so you could basically have them around here did i really not really right my ghost really popped here i think i could have gotten them a little earlier but uh i don't know maybe just gotta play it fluent more fluent or something just a little bit more on point more or less but yeah quite a few little beasts we got here um i don't know how many i were actually affected in here ah ratatouille level three never made a meal for everyone oh yeah here two meat stews i don't know i'm still like in in winter i would still prefer the ratatouille like you if you remember my math on that i always thought like the ratatouille is just gonna be more efficient than the uh meat stew it's like after a certain point of villagers it flips and this point of villagers is really late really really late where i think okay you gotta get the meat stew or did it get buffed 
Is it stronger now? Then it would actually make sense to get that in winter. But I see a lot of people going for it, and I don't really get it since the... Uh, yeah, since I think it's just not... It's not better than Ratatouille still. It's not giving you more resources. This is only negating the resources you would lose in winter, and like, once upon a time, they were... Uh, not too high, so like your consumption weren't that high, so the consumption weren't really negated that much. So in the end, with the ratatouille, you would ended up having a little bit more food. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, line is late game king, definitely. I think line in the late game is really, really hard to stop by any clan because of the faith. You just get infinite faith. Um, it's not like this with the lore win anymore. Like before you could have just banked faith all the time until you're almost at the lore win. And if you are able to win on lore, you just put all that into your lore tree, right? Clack, 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 and you won the game. But if you got attacked because you had all that faith, you just could just take that faith and bring it into army. That were the big lion problem, right? Just every game you were trying to win on lore, or faith and if they would attack you you would just turn all that faith into army and uh defend try the same stuff again or just take it back to them having them basically going into the disadvantaged uh, position of attacking you but uh nowadays it doesn't work anymore because you have the um the monument now that you gotta build so it doesn't work like that anymore but uh still i think just just like making army out of faith is problematic. It's problematic. <laughs> uh, it's just really, really strong. Like there's going to be a lot of ways. And as soon as you uh, take away the ability to produce lore from the lion, it's also going to have a tough time. So I don't know. I guess the only thing again to really fix that is to make the, the army more expensive. But first, I would wait what Shiro actually wants to do with the game. Like, it seems to me more and more that they want to have, like, every clan being broken. So no clan is broken anymore. But Lion is, like, one of the clans where I think, Mwah. maybe it's maybe it's too broken. Maybe also with Snake, since Snake is so insanely strong. With Owl, I could sometimes even think about, well, I don't know. Like, so many clans are broken right now. How broken is Owl really? Because it can also seem really weak in certain situations. But if it gets enough time and time to build up, obviously it's insane. I want all clans broken. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem. Eagle is also extremely strong. Eagle is weak, actually? Okay. I thought Eagle were, like, still one of the top clans. Like, uh, I always felt like that the top players... Uh, prefer eagle to wolf more or less but i haven't followed the uh pig ban phases of the tournament all too much if you can defend against an eagle past 82 they just die okay well it's more or less the same thing with wolf right just like yeah maybe basically the same thing like, as soon as the wolf goes into late game, it is really, really easy to destroy them. Just that I think Eagle has more ways to get army, right? If you get wiped, you still have your caches that you could probably go for if they don't spam, uh, spawn into enemy territory, that is. Made up moves. Hmm? Oh, you're playing. You're thinking it was so different about the game, Iggy. That's so interesting. Like, I would never go Invader Wolf. I would always still go for the um, Legendary Heroes Wolf. Like, afterwards, I would go for Invader. But the first one, I'd definitely set with Wolf if I want to go aggro. Uh, Weaponsmith, Spoils of War, um, Millstrat, and then Legendary. Okay. But then you don't have fur codes in the first winter. If you don't play early doc. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't like I see why you uh think. Yeah, but you could skip fur, okay? Well, if the fight doesn't happen in winter, that is. <laughs> Always thought like in the moment where fur hits, it's basically just right in front of the winter, but hey, I don't know. Uh for with a second axe. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe. 
I don't know, it's like 30% debuff. Like, if you then also have the supply lines debuff, isn't that, like, insane? I don't know, man. I feel like Wolf is not, like, at a bad spot right now, since you can definitely still pressure players into uh, bad situations, basically. Why well, I think it's still doable. I just don't know, like, how it is on the highest level. But on the other way around, just to make go full circle, if I play Wolf and my opponent picks eagle i always think i'm one step ahead of them i feel like i'm in the better position right now because i feel like i can beat eagles in the early game just because just so often when i played against eagles they underestimate the power of the berserker like they just underestimate it they just take a fight and you start running behind their chief with the berserker and they realize oh my god i'm losing 10 percent health per hit <laughs> and it's like hmm. you are before 801 march yeah maybe maybe a little later right mid 801 something after that wolf loses i think okay could be could be i don't know like i've always thought if i play against eagle i'm playing uh, i have a, i'm in a good situations i'm trying to get the aggro early to them of course because the eagle has so many things that it wants right it wants to um get his caches you can negate caches with just having a bodyguard standing on there or something and you can uh, negate their healing like they go into the tile they clear it and they want to heal on that tile and you just go there and say nope i'm here i'm healed want to fight want to fight Ah, go. Go build a healer sat. Go go build a healer sat. <laughs> you're, you're not wanted here. <laughs> and then you have a little bit of time where you can just be yourself again. Obviously, I always thought like if you if I get wiped against an eagle. Like if I wipe an eagle, the game is not completely over for the eagle. Even though if it like happens really early and we can snowball it, you can definitely win the game from there, right? But if the eagle kills the wolf, the wolf game is over at that point, in my opinion. Because you don't have any way to come back. The eagle still has his caches, like you can still find a little bit of iron in there. You can still find like gold is in all of them, I think. So you're always going to get a little bit of gold of them. And you can come back slowly. Also because it could theoretically up upgrade buildings throughout your game but on wolf like as soon as you lost your army you're you're just fighting with scraps right you're sending a few x throwers in you're trying to slowly build up gold again so you can maybe get your zerker and like the whole machinery just breaks together and you gotta start from the start again i think with eagle your comeback potential is a little bit better but what do i know i don't actually play that much eagle so also just my opinion here what i think what uh it feels like right now uh not not a um, definite uh answer or something like that because i'm definitely not the one to give that it's just what i feel like and if you look at the tournament i think wolf and eagle were both not really picked that much right i don't know if they were banned that much i just rarely got them uh, sort of played more or less like wolf i saw more often than eagle honestly hmm, hard to say Hard to say. I think also the higher level Northgard is also... Uh